We're in that position. Guys all season workouts are going great. We're bigger, stronger, faster. Uh, the team you saw against Minnesota, the team you saw against Rutgers, and even the last quarter against uh, our division uh, champ. Uh, that's where I think we're going to see most of the year. And that should be a team that can compete, can compete each week. Well, we're yeah. you got three new guys you could announce today, the transfers. What does that add to, to your program? And is that a new you know, transfer portal? Does that change the way you approach? Absolutely. You know, Jeremy, we didn't take that approach early on. We wanted to hit high school guys hard and get that solid, solid foundation of guys to be in our program for four years. We've done that. Now to, to be able to bridge some of those guys is what we have coming now. And for us, the transfer athletes that we have coming in, uh, most of them have two years also. Uh, college athletes can use that to their advantage if things aren't working right. Get your degree, and there are good things that can happen to you. So we have a few of them that are kind of like junior college players coming in with two years, and they'll help us an awful lot. I mean, it's been documented. We have a couple of players coming from uh, you know, out to the Pac-10. It's always about the quarterback position, and we're excited about Brandon Peters uh, being able to compete with Isaiah Williams and uh, Matt Robinson and Karan Taylor. There, it always starts at that position. So this is what's giving us, it's giving us excitement. But, you know, I talk defensively about our guys. If you talk with Nate Hobbs, he's going to talk about how bad we were last year because he knows how much better we're going to be this year. Well, you talk a lot about the freshmen just becoming juniors. How, how nice is it having players like Reggie Corbin, Nate Hobbs, and Alex here to kind of show that growth that they've made since they've been here for a while? Well, I, first off, it's an honor to come here. I mean, it's just not like we randomly pick who represents our team. Uh, Alex Valchuski, you know, we're not even a little while ago. He's, he started pretty every game he's been at the University of Illinois. No one was hard at him. Talk about leading by example. He's a good football player. Reggie Corbin, though, he played outstanding football. Now, the football team we did, but we had some individual performances that were really good, Reggie being one of them. But for him, it's putting two back-to-back -to -back years together. And Nate Hobbs is a guy that can really get on the, the radar nationally a little bit. He has everything you're looking for uh, to be a top-line corner. A couple of the transfers that you brought in being from USC, just what was the process of getting those guys and what do you feel like some, some of you can bring to this team? Well, uh, we you know we have a couple connections. Number one, and uh, when you identify the positions that you want to add, it so happened it worked out where we uh, we had a need, and there were athletes that were looking for a, a top university where they would get a chance to play immediately, and that was the case with of course with Josh Bay Bay with uh, Wale, also the defensive end, line and of course wide receiver. And we're going to add a little bit more too. I might add that can't really talk about yet. But it just kind of worked out for us. Um, those players, again, they bring a little bit of experience, uh, come from winning programs. And that should be that little bit that we need. We feel like we needed to get over the hump. Was the connection was Austin Clark a part of that kind of connection? Uh, Austin Clark, uh, also Noda, uh, Hudson, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, both of them had an awful lot to do with it. But uh, we have a lot of guys with connections to that. And what uh, transfer athletes are looking for, they're looking for, uh, you know, when you transfer, so they know how important academics are. You also look for a place to play immediately, big time football, and that's what they're getting at our play. From an X's and O's standpoint, what do you like about a Wale Batiki? Uh, what do I like about it? Well, you know, we have a profile, you know, big, strong, athletic, uh, confident, real man. If you got a chance to talk with him a little bit, you kind of see what I'm talking about. But uh, just feel like he can be a force on the edge, and we need that. When you lose a great player like Bobby Roundtree, you need to be able to replace him. And he was coming before Bobby had his, uh, his accident. But we'll even uh, need him to step up more. And he'll be able to do that. But it's just not him. There's some other players we have, like Owen Carney, uh, Isaiah Gaze of the world. And we bring bringing in three freshmen that we think should be able to play immediately, too. Bobby, you lost a, a good lineman in Nick Allegretti last year, yeah. but you're bringing somebody in like Richie Pettibon. How's he going to formulate into that starting rotation in the uh, offensive line? Well, Richie brings a work ethic that's second to nine. A winning program. You know, he has a couple of national championship rings. So he's, we're getting that. Just getting a good football player that need an opportunity to play, too. He's been great in our program. 
It's also a chance, I mean, last year we moved Kendrick Green from the defensive line to the offensive line position. Kendrick Green has a chance to be, I think, a really good football player that we're going to talk about for honors at the end of the year. Um, that should help a lot. Virtus Brown, an athlete, highly recruited athlete from the Chicago area that we recruited a few years back to have an opportunity. So losing, we did lose a good football player in Nick, and we wish him the best. But we think these next guys can step up. Coach, you mentioned Brandon, Brandon Peters. Why did he make sense for you guys and you for me? Well, you were, uh, we needed, we wanted a player uh, with experience and a guy that had played at a high level. You know, he started at the top programs in the country. Uh, he can be, eventually quarterbacks have to be able to throw the football. Brandon can throw it. And as I, I said earlier in the interview I was doing, first thing he said, Coach, I'm a better athlete than I'm giving credit for. Him. And uh, I just like talking ball with him, what little I've had a chance to do. Just think he can bring something different, you know, to our team. They looked around and uh, he chose us. And he feels, and I just know that those guys are happy, all of the transfers that we have. Have hap they're happy and have jumped right into their role. Coach, so the last question when we got to go. Quarterback like Aaron Peters is maybe considered more of a passer. Was that a little bit of a reaction to the offense last year where the run game was maybe out, out, ahead, out, ahead, out ahead of the passing game? No, I mean, as we were looking, we're looking for the best available, best possible guys we could, you know, add to our mix. Um, when you have different quarterback, you know, we have four guys on scholarships, you don't want a guy with the same skill set. But eventually, you have to be able to throw the football. So that was a big part of it. And I feel like we can get that. I think Brandon will end up being a better runner than, than again, that he's given credit for. And a player that has a running reputation a little bit in Isaiah Williams, I think he'll end up being a better passer than what he's given credit for. I feel like our quarterback position at the time is going to be in pretty good shape. Okay, thanks, everybody.